the most famous people in town, come by our popcorn stand. Here's John J. Hooker, Jr. Mr. Hooker, a leading magazine stated this year that next year you will run and be elected as president of the world or governor of Tennessee, whichever is greater. Is this true? Yes. What do you have to offer the people this year that you didn't have four years ago? Chicken man, chicken. And what, Mr. Hooker, will be your campaign slogan? Come on, mother. Oh, we got chicken up on. Now let's switch to just outside of Brick Church Elementary School, where a group of dissident third-grade dropouts are protesting lunches. What did you have for lunch today? Folk salad. The menu said hamburger. Are you sure it tasted like... Folk salad. Well, what did the students think of that? Give a fat boy Here we are, back in the beautiful downtown arcade. And, aha, uh-huh, here's Councilman James Warren. Sir, you opposed sex education in the classroom. Just where do you think it should be taught? Down in Lulu. Well, I imagine Dr. John Harris was rather upset by your views. Come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. Well, now let's talk to Dr. Harris. Who would you have teaching such courses? Mrs. Robinson. And just why do you feel teachers are qualified to teach sex? We got both. Councilman Robert Lillard. Mr. Lillard, what do you do now that the $15 sticker has been repealed? Cry every night. Oh, and here's Chief Hubert Kemp. Chief, could you tell us just where you've misplaced John Sirachi? Down in the boondocks. Here's the Metro Tax Assessor, Clifford Allen. Sir, you believe the property tax could and should have been lowered. Why? We can go on this way. Just why did you want to meet Mayor Briley in a debate? Baby, I just can't hide all the well, Mr. Allen, some people say you have wanted to be mayor for some time now. Just how long can you hold on? Now, let's talk with the mayor. Mr. Briley, why did you miss the debate with Mr. Allen? I don't remember what day it Mayor, do you have any suggestions for Mr. Allen? Clean up your whole backyard. Now that you have the biggest budget in Nashville history, for what will all this extra tax money be used? So get tired an empty bottle of booze. Why do we need so much tax money? Because without his son, life ain't very sweet. Well, what are the nasty rumors being spread by the newspaper? But it won't be long, I've heard them say, until I'm not around. Well, you have been Nashville mayor for a number of years now, or at least it seems that way. Could you tell us when you plan on stepping down from the throne? In the year 2525. Sir, you visited Europe this summer. What did you learn? No swings like a pendulum Mr. Mayor, just what are the members of the Metro Council doing right now? Kicking and a gouging in the mud and the blood and the beard. And that is Nashville 1969. Wait a minute. 1969 has a long way to go. Why not finish the year? Because enough's enough. Thank you, citizens. Oh, Father Time. Yes? Are better things in store for Nashville next year? Yes! Well, what can Nashville look forward to in 1970? Bubonic Plague.